everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Amanda DeQuilla and my colleague Melanie Grossman is joining us as well behind the scenes today. Um, together we are Heidelberg University Association, which is the New York office for Heidelberg University. We're going to share some basic information about our International Summer School of German Language and Culture at Heidelberg University. And we have some time, uh, most of the session actually dedicated to Q&A with an alum of the program, Madeline Watts, who is a current student at Columbia University and attended the summer school last year. Um, in case any of you are just now joining, I want to let you know that you can add questions to the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen, and we will answer them at the end of the presentation. So uh, we're going to just, as I said, talk very quickly about some basic information. Um, about our International Summer School, starting with just a little bit about it. So the International Summer School of German Language and Culture at Heidelberg University is a one month course that happens each August with students from around the world. And it's a chance to expand your skills in German language and culture at Germany's oldest university. So it's a long title, but it tells you everything you need to know pretty much about what's happening. Um, in addition to courses, uh, there are also planned social events and excursions, so there is a lot to do while you are spending your month in Heidelberg. For 2021, the plan, of course, everything in the world right now depends upon the COVID situation, but for now we are planning our course as usual. It will take place from July 29th through August 21st, and the theme is Germany 2021, Reinvent the Future. Registration for the course opens in January. The course fee is 670 euros, does not include room and board, um, but you are able to uh, pursue um, either finding your own accommodations or reserve them with the summer school. There are three types of courses available. The first is course one, which is sort of a general language and cultural course that you, you would be used to as a as a college student here in the US. Um, and those are offered at different levels, elementary, intermediate, and advanced. Um, course two is a workshop for teachers of German who are non-native German speakers. And that's a, a mix of a thematic topic with pedagogy courses. And then the third type of course is business German. And very interesting information for everybody today is of course, funding opportunities. So we have the House Summer School Scholarship, which is funded by Heidelberg Alumni US or House. Um, the scholarship is $1,000 depending upon funding each year, which um, if you remember, the course fee was 670 euro. So depending upon the exchange rates, that will cover your course fee with a little extra to apply as you see fit. So some expenses that you might be thinking through right now would include a flight, room and board, spending money, transportation, um, those kinds of things. The application opens in January and would be due in May. If you happen to be a teacher listening right now who is a non-native speaker of German, we also work with the AATG, the American Association of Teachers of German and the Germanic Society of America to provide um, scholarships for the course two type, which was the <coughs> excuse me, the course for non-native German speakers. So AATG works with us to um, uh, oversee the application process. Applications are due in March for that. And the best place to hear about that is through the AATG. And that is the basics for our course. Um, before we jump to our alum, I wanted to show you just some quickly where you can find out what else you might need to know. So the course information would be at this link. Um, I'm also going to ask Melanie to share that in the chat. And in January, you can visit the Heidelberg University Association page for information on the scholarships. And of course, uh, we'll share this as well, but you can reach any of us at info at heidelberguniversity.org for any questions that you may not see the answers to on the website. 